I like the Western Horsemanship 4312, where I begin with the rider with the most functional and balanced position in 4 and ending with the most faulted rider in 2. In my top pair of 4 over 3, I begin with the rider who is more balanced and straighter through her seat with a straighter line from shoulder, hip to heel. The lady on the bay had a secure base of support and was quieter through her legs, especially while at the lope, which allowed for a smooth and prompt simple lead change with a high degree of difficulty. I do grant that 3 showcase a more relaxed walk to jog transition at the first cone. In my middle decision of 3 and 1, the gentleman has greater pattern precision with no penalties. He is more stationary during his 360 degree pivot to the left and completes a prompt stop after the right lead lope. I do appreciate that during the backup, one maintains more ideal angulation through her elbows. In my final pair of 1 over 2, one must be praised for completing the pattern as written. She was more prompt in her transition from the 360 degree pivot to the left lead lope when called for in the pattern. She also carried a deeper heel more appropriately underneath her hip during her authoritative extended trot to close her pattern. I was impressed with the straight backup demonstrated by the rider on the sorrel. However, she still must be placed last today. During her pattern, she picked up the incorrect lead broke gate and picked up the incorrect lead again, subsequently failing to ever display the left lead. This resulted in a disqualification and places her last. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock and horse judging videos at the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.